starts the final talk of this session. So the next speaker is Ase Hasekawa, and he's going to talk about the uh, power of quantum distributed proofs. Please start. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about quantum non-deterministic distributed computing. Uh, this is joint work with Suzuta Kundu and Harumichi Shimura. Uh, so these are the contents. And the first, uh, let me recall uh, quantum fingerprinting as a basic concept on our work. So uh, simultaneously, message capacity model, so-called the SMP model, was introduced by uh, Yao. And the, uh, in the protocol, there are three parties, uh, Alice and Bob has a part of input, and the referee want to uh, calculate uh, some Boolean function by receiving uh, messages from Alice and Bob uh, simultaneously. So um, the basic fun most basic function is uh, the equality function. And uh, in 1990s, it is known that uh, the problem is hard in the classical scheme. Uh, in 2001, uh, Berman, Craig, Bartras, and the world discovered that uh, if all the parties and communications are quantum, then there exists a um, very efficient protocol, a uh, log and qubit protocol. And the uh, messages can be, uh, is so-called quantum fingerprint, uh, can be constructed um, some, with some superposition of uh, linear classical or correction code. And uh, uh, by conducting the swap test, a uh, referee can identify the uh, inputs are uh, equal or not. Okay, so uh, next, uh, let me introduce the concept of uh, non deterministic distributed computing, which is an uh, uh, distributed analog of NP. So uh, distributed computing can be uh, regarded as um, some generalization of communication protocol to a uh, multi-party protocol on uh, some network. And on a network, each node uh, knows some local information and can communicate uh, with adjacent nodes or network. And uh, ideally, we want to, be, we want to derive some uh, protocol of a network, which can uh, check some uh, global property of a network by only using local communication. And uh, it is known that uh, uh, it is uh, hard, generally hard to design such a protocol. So uh, one possible extension is to uh, assume that there exists a prover to uh, distribute some additional information to nodes. And uh, yeah, since uh, verifier is not one party, uh, we need to define uh, carefully the definition of uh, distributed NP protocol. Okay. And the most uh, accepted model is as follows. So uh, for completeness, if a network has some desired condition, then uh, there exists proof such that uh, all the nodes accept with local communication. Uh, for soundness, uh, if a network uh, does not have some desired condition, then uh, at least one node can reject for any proof. So any proofs means uh, proofs can be malicious information. Okay, so uh, let me uh, explain uh, the idea of non-determinist distributed computing as with uh, some simple example. So the global property uh, in this setting uh, the network want to verify is if uh, the network and network is buffer type or not. 
And if a uh, graph is indeed buffer tight, then there exists a valid library of the nodes. And uh, yeah, a prover can distribute it. And uh, indeed, all the uh, nodes satisfied by uh, checking uh, local labeling of the network. And uh, moreover, if a uh, network is not buffered, right, then uh, for any uh, labeling, uh, there exists at least one pair of vertices uh, such that uh, the adjacent labeling are the same. So uh, they raise some arm to the other nodes and uh, the network can verify uh, the network does not have a uh, desired condition. Okay, so uh, next, uh, let me explain about the introduction of uh, quantum uh, distributed NP protocol by uh, Freino, Lega, Nishima, and Pass. So one fundamental question for us, us means people who are interested in quantum computing and information theory, is to ask if the quantum, quantumness is powerful in the distributed verification protocols. And yeah, Freino at all tackles the problem. And then uh, their answer is yes. So quantum scheme is indeed powerful. In fact, exponentially powerful in some setting than uh, classical scheme. And uh, this is a setting they consider. So uh, there are a set of nodes online and two extreme nodes has n bit input. And the global property this network want to verify is to is uh, the distributed inputs are the same or not. So it's hard to uh, verify the property locally. So let's consider Let's assume that there is a prover. And the prover uh, distributes some information to nodes, and the uh, no, nodes uh, communicate locally and uh, verify uh, the inputs are the same or not. And uh, there exists a trivial classical protocol. So if uh, so a prover a distributed distribute um, n bit proof, classical proof to intermediate nodes. And the uh, nodes can check uh, as some proofs and the inputs are the same or not. And uh, this has, uh, this is uh, n bit proof classical uh, distributed verification scheme, which has complete, a perfect completeness of soundness. And in the quantum setting, uh, we can uh, exploit the power of quantum fingerprint. And uh, a quantum prover distribute a uh, quantum fingerprint to intermediate nodes, which is a uh, log n qubit. And the uh, nodes uh, can conduct the swap test uh, over to uh, adjacent uh, quantum proofs. Uh, and yeah, this, uh, this protocol has uh, completeness, a perfect completeness, but it's hard to analyze the soundness of the protocol. So Freino et al. shows that uh, to have uh, sufficiently high soundness, uh, R squared parallel repetition is enough, where uh, R is a number of nodes. So on a line network, R is a uh, length of the path. And uh, yeah, it, it, they also show that uh, any classical scheme require linear size uh, proof. So, uh, uh, so when uh, the network is size is small or R is small, 
then uh, they exist. They show that they exist um, exponential large gap between uh, classical quantum set for the equality problem. Okay, so next, uh, let me talk about our results. So we show that uh, the quantum scheme is indeed powerful for uh, many uh, setting and problem. First, uh, we show that uh, we construct a um, more efficient protocol for the equality problem on what general networks and which has also has some uh, simple analysis. Second, uh, so in the original protocol, uh, drawn by a final door, uh, when the network size is large, then quantum protocol is even worse than classical trivial protocol. So uh, by, uh, modif by constructing uh, some modified protocol, we show that uh, quantum scheme is uh, also powerful when uh, the network size is large or fast network. Uh, we also construct an efficient quantum protocol for the greater than problem and the ranking verification problems, uh, which are uh, function to compare uh, value of uh, inputs. And this result implies that the greater than function is another fundamental problem, which exhibit a large gap between a quantum and classical set in distributed verification protocol. And moreover, we construct some uh, efficient protocol for uh, other functions, such as uh, humming distance problem, congenerated work, and uh, a function which has an um, efficient QMA two-party communication protocol, or path network. And uh, let me explain uh, the detail of the first result. So in the original protocol by Brian et al., especially before the parallel repetition, uh, Prober uh, distribute uh, essentially one quantum fingerprint to uh, each local node. And uh, uh, based on private randomness of each node, uh, they decide uh, if uh, quantum proof uh, they, they send quantum proof to other nodes. So therefore, some nodes do and do not swap test. Uh, in our setting, uh, we make a quantum prover sent to a quantum fingerprint. And each node uh, symmetrizes to fingerprint and to quantum proof. And then uh, each local node uh, send uh, one quantum proof to our system node. And in our protocol, each node can conduct a swap test with certainty, and which make uh, the analysis of soundness simpler. Uh, and to uh, show the soundness of the protocol, uh, Freino et al. Uh, derive some rigidity of the swap test. So if uh, the swap test accept on uh, some uh, entangled state over two registers, then uh, with hyperbolicity, then uh, each local state are closed. And we uh, extend the result from two part to part part case to uh, multi part head case by uh, using the permutation test. So, yeah. And using this property, we show that uh, even uh, with uh, more than two inputs, uh, there exists a quantum protocol with uh, R squared log n proof size. This is, uh, so in the original protocol, 
uh, the proof size linearly depends on the number of inputs. So uh, we remove uh, the dependence and we also make uh, the analysis. And we show that we also show that uh, there is some limit of the quantum verification distributed verification problem. So we show that uh, for the equality problem, uh, any uh, DQM protocol requires some polylog and uh, qubits as proof and communication. Uh, although this bound is not so strong, uh, I'd like to stress that. Uh, this is a highly non-trivial result because uh, entangled for quantum proofs over nodes uh, cause some non-local effect of, uh, over nodes. So yeah, we prove uh, the main law bound by uh, combining several steps. First, uh, we consider a setting where uh, quantum prover can only send some separable proof over between nodes, uh, which uh, makes us uh, e easier to get a rover. And, and yeah, and we also borrow some technique from uh, the paper by Freinu et al. And yeah, we show some strong lower bound with separable uh, quantum proofs. Second, we show that uh, even for uh, entangled proof, we have we can have some lower bound, which is weak. So, so third, uh, we show that uh, any uh, DQM protocol with entangled proof can be simulated by separable proof by uh, using the property of QMA two-party communication protocol introduced by Randon Shaporika in two thousand. And yeah, combining all the three steps, then we have the, our main uh, lower bound. Okay, so let me uh, summarize our work and talk. So uh, quantum distributed QMA protocol, quantum non determinist distributed computing was uh, introduced by Freino et al. And they show that uh, uh, they show some a large gap in some setting. And we show that uh, the scheme is indeed powerful for many problems and setting. And we also show the first lower bound of the scheme by uh, yeah, using some uh, strong property of QMA two-party communication complete problem. And finally, uh, let me list some pop problems. So first, uh, so we in our work we introduce a setting where a uh, prover can only send separable proof of between nodes, and we can also introduce more variants of DQM protocol, such as uh, the QCM protocols or DQM K protocols. So the question is, can we find a new new relationship between them? And uh, not that um, LOCC DQM protocol, so proof uh, quantum, but communications are classical DQM protocol was, was studied by uh, Regal Miyamoto Nishimura, which was uh, presented last year's TQC. And second, uh, so the main parameter on distributed com computing is the graph size rather than the input size. So uh, the main focus in our work is about the data quantum advantage on the data size, input size. So the question is, uh, is to ask if we, we can prove quantum advantage on the graph size, network size, or uh, to prove that there's no quantum advantage on the graph side. Finally, uh, the final open question is, uh, can we prove a stronger quantum global?
uh, that's it for my talk. Uh, thanks for your attention. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, so you mentioned that you are able to reduce the uh, uh, num reduce the uh, uh, number of qubits in the message compared to previous protocol. Uh, so yeah, you, you are able to reduce the number of qubits uh, um, of the in the message from the prover compared to previous protocol. So oh, how, how how can the reduction made? You 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 mean this this result? Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, so uh, in the original protocol, by the original protocol, they run, uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, in the original protocol, they naively run uh, all the paths between inputs. So which uh, the proof size depends on the number of inputs linearly. And in our protocol, we uh, exploit the power of permutation test. So, so which so, so uh, we use the permutation set by uh, use, by conducting the swap test many many times. So yeah, one permutation test can substitute many uh, soft tests. Okay, I see, thank you. Any other questions? So you also saw the upper bound and the lower bound, so do you, uh, which do you think is the tight, tight side? So may you, do you think the upper bound on the your protocol is tight? Yeah, so, Yeah, I feel, uh, yeah, upper bound is tight because, yeah, I don't know how to construct more efficient quantum protocol. So yeah, I feel uh, we could prove a stronger quantum law. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, so. If not, uh, let's thank uh, Atsia and the other speakers of this session again.